always gotta let another one TV. Gang, gang, yes, gang. Sir. It was your first time here. Definitely won't be on last. So make sure you kill, murder, and smash, smash that subscribe button. Gonna. And we are back with one of Atlanta's top artists. Facts. YSL affiliate. Facto. Member. Mm. Wanna. Young Thugs. Wanna. Partner in crime. That's mm -hmm. a fact. <laughs> Little Baby's partner in crime. Mm. Facts. <laughs> Chloe. Haley Bailey. 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 Girl, I mean. Best nigga, friend. Girl, Good girl. friend. It's, they're friends. Yeah. yeah. Dear like friends. Yeah. Shout out to that man, Gunner. Killing it. And we're back with the fourth installment yeah. of his classic project. That I got to let my boy Joel introduce me. Joel's the one that introduced me to Gunner. Drip too hard, nigga. Yeah, that shit go crazy. Yo, I just want to say that Gunner. What you doing on that side, man, with Young Thug? You guys change rap forever. That's why I had to wear this Outkast shirt because of Atlanta. And I really feel like Atlanta's been running the game for a really long time. I was one of the first niggas saying that Wonder was better than, was the best album of, what year was that, 2020 or 2021? Uh, was it, well, that's 2020, that's right? Yeah. yeah, it's 2020. Yeah. Um, and I'm really expecting great things from this album. Mm hmm you the GOAT, nigga. And you the flyest nigga in the game. Fact. Have Rihanna be him as yeah. Halloween for Halloween, my nigga. Come that on. That nigga's fly, that's bro. That is. Right Yo, there. that speech, you said that from the heart, man. Yeah, I love this brand, bro. Yo, shout out to Gunner, because not only is he killing the music game, he's an icon in the culture, killing it with the drip, the fashion, the fashion icon himself. Like Evan said, Rihanna mm -hmm. followed his fashion trend. So you know we had to come collect for my boy Gunner, man. Kick check with RTTV, you already know. I got the Air Force Ones undefeated for the gunner reaction. You know we gotta come fly with the drip. You know I keep the all flight on my feet, dog. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, I got those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say easy 350s, man. Uh, CDG Converse collaboration. So it's just oh shit! Oh yeah. shit! For the drip for the drip garment. Shout out to Gunner. We about to get right into the album. DS forever. Let's get right into it. Track number one, Private Island. Nah, Gunna and Weezy out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no bullshit. Anytime they on the same shit, it's crazy. That's his 40 right there. I feel like I'm on vacation with this song right here. <laughs> like, they purposely went for the sound of a private island. That's like some Hawaii type of Dubai type of vibe right there. Yeah, I feel it right off the beat. I feel like off the first song, I feel like he just threw us into the album. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, I kind of like that about it. Yep. You know? Yeah, it's not a song that I that sounds like a typical intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like right into it, nigga. We on a private island. island. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with you, Pat. It definitely sounds like an excursion, you know? That's so. Mm. Yeah. He's really stunned. He's like, yeah, shorty. I know you had another nigga, but... He, he didn't bring you to the high, private I, island. Yeah, I man. know he the. You might have fucked on an island, maybe, but was it private though? He brought you to the all inclusive. I brought you yeah. to, the, to, the, to the exclusive. <laughs> you know I mean? the all inclusive. I brought you. Yeah, you just made me feel like shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, wow. it's funny in the song he says that he said, "I know everybody can afford his." He says, like, "Basically, can, not everybody can afford his lifestyle." Yeah. yeah. By the way, side note. Good looks, good looks. I'm inclusive with you, my nigga. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it was a good time, though. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we had a, it was good, it was a yeah, we had a good hey, time, man. yo. Real shit. Well, we about to get into track number two, Push Your Peace, featuring Young Thug and Future. Young Thug! <laughs> push Your Peace. Uh, push Your Peace. That's the dance floor right there. <laughs> I'm pushing Peace. Push, push, push. Mm. Out here pushing peace, huh? What? Ooh. What? Ooh. Nah, I feel the legend. Yeah. 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 So what I sure. I mean, hat for the streets. <laughs> peace. Nah, that beats. Nah, that's 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 a song. That's that beats. 
I like that moment with Too Sexy. Pushing Pete. Ooh. Pushing Pete. That collaboration between Young Thug, Future, and Gunna sometimes at times sounds a lot like Young Thug. So, like, they blend really well when they're Beautiful. on the same track. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, like, like a group. Yeah, yeah, it really, real it really is, nigga. Nah, and it sounds amazing, bro. The craziest Migos. <laughs> they it kind of reminded me of Floyd uh, Mayweather, that track. <laughs> oh, you know that's wow. A, yeah, that's a that crazy track is ass legendary. Right there, yo. Woo! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Pushing P. Pushing P. I need the lyrics on that one. I'm pushing P. I'm pushing big P. Big P. Big P. Big P. <laughs> this nigga said, I'm wild. pushing a big P. Shit. <laughs> a pound of coke. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what you was saying. That's what he wants That's what I was saying, nigga. Big pounds of coke, nigga. <laughs> Ever said when we play hustles and we be on the court, he be bullying Pat, so he be pushing P. Oh, <laughs> oh my. And that's wow. never happening. Wow. That's facts. That's wow. facts. Nigga. I will 11 on you. Pushing P, nigga. He's about to get in <laughs> track number three. Poochie Goon. What gown? What's a yes, Poochie sir. gown? That's a Poochie <laughs> gown. A Poochie gown. <laughs> A poochie gown? That, yeah, what is a poochie? You said a poochie gown. What, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Mm, oh, wow. I don't know what poochie gown is, my nigga. I'm, like, yeah, he said coochie gown, nigga. Is it, is it poochie or coochie? I think nigga. he's just switching shit with P because he's been using that like P shit. Because he's pushing P's, nigga. Yeah, but it's a coochie gown. But it's a fuck. It's lingerie, my nigga. Come on, bro. So it's like, it's so basically it's like a, a underwear that has like a, like a pink transparent like type of shit over it or something like that like I think it's this like nigga that. asking too many questions I think it's just you asking 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 I'm just trying to see how it looks if you don't know you just don't know yeah, you, you, ain't, you ain't got like that I ain't pushing P's yeah. yeah. it, it, it might just be yeah. Yeah. you're right you're right nigga pushing O's oh Poochie gowns are expensive oh so it is a Poochie gown it says a Poochie I guess it's a nightgown but this was the first thing that I saw but I don't think that it says Emilio Poochie yeah Mm. Yeah, we just broke ass niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the private <laughs> island. I ain't got no I'm coochie no gowns. gowns. <laughs> My shorty going out sad right now. Okay. Mm. Uh. Woo. Oh, shit. Woo. I don't know why everybody reminds Woo. me a little bit of cash money type shit for some reason. Like, oh, it's shit. that beat. It's I that beat. It's that beat. Pipe down. down. That's an odd down right there, yo. That damn. I gotta get. A, I gotta put a deposit down for a Poochie gown, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this shit go crazy. I just sent my girl a link, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> gonna use this again the price of Poochie gowns, yo. You better get a percentage, man. Yo. That was, yo. Damn. I'm not gonna hold you. This off for like the first three songs. I already know the rest of the production is gonna be ridiculous, my nigga. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like I don't know about y'all, but like I feel like an ill ass nigga listening to this shit. I feel you. You feel me? Yeah. That's, that's the kind of like Young Thug and Gunner. They make me feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially Facts. with this beats, I'm like the illest nigga alive right now. Facts. You, know you may not be having and living whatever he's having, but he makes you feel he, like you got all that yes. shit. Yes. I like that. Yes. Nah, yes. 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 It makes you. It makes yes. you feel like money. It's like. It's like it's manifesting. He's helping you manifest that money yep. that you will get in the future. You mm. know what I'm saying? So Poochie like, gown. yeah, Poochie gown. Yep. About to get on track number four. Mop featuring Young Thug. Mop. Oh shit. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> this thing was crazy. What'd he say? I know that look on her face, now she look like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> black. Get it, 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 who? Yeah. This is like his nothing was the same right here, nigga. <laughs> nah, this, this, this series is just classic. Yeah, wow. Just, this installment is just a continuation of greatness. It's cr- Yo, shout out to my nigga Waldo because he put me on to that song Drip or Drown. 
I don't know how many years ago, God, and ever man. since then, this nigga gonna been consistent and getting better. The world plus Drozd, like, we were doing Waldo. I think he remember because we didn't listen to it. Drozd like, yo, that's your Drozd like, yo, this nigga got this nigga, yo. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was the it was the mixtape. It was a mixtape where like it was green. He had like this. It was like artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sold out dates. Yeah. For John two or something like that. Yeah. 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 One, like, I remember John because he kept telling us to do it. I'm like, we didn't do it. I always remember it because it was end up being gunner, and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I heard the shit before I even yeah. Drip season. I came I, like I heard Dripper John came out way before that. That's what I'm saying. Real shit. That shit, like, bro. Waldo, good looks, bro. I'm telling you, like that nigga put me out. <laughs> Nah, that is spazzing. Woo, woo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, I'm go. I, I don't care about which homie finding young thug no more. He said what? Nah, he found his uh his yeah, partner. Yeah, they got like some. They got to drop a joint project together. Yeah, they got too many songs. That's like crazy, bro. They basically do it though. The wise out, the young stone of life. Um, even when they drop albums, this these niggas always be all yeah, over. They got a yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they got an album worth of songs. I can tell you that much. Yeah, yeah. if you put they all album. the songs they got together, yeah, yeah it's like Rezo, it's they album probably worth. will drop a group album sometime this year. Who knows? They full of surprises. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm ready for a gun and little baby project again, bro. Yeah, you just keep it a little dirty, little baby. I want my yo, girl. my nigga, yo, twenty forty. Dirk is on some awesome hood shit. Facts, yeah. When Lil Baby's with Gun is more some like fly, fly shit. Playboy 100%. Shit. That's why yeah. I like that. Like, uh, what's that song called? Drip too, nah. too hard. Oh, yeah, that shit's crazy. That shit's crazy. That was one of the songs that I hear. Like, yeah. That was the song to me. That yeah. was like a swag song. Like, it was yeah. like, Man, Lil Bite, she been on my mind. As soon as I can get back, I can They got mad dead. songs, like Sold Out Dates, nigga. Sold Out Dates. Yeah, like, crazy. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's crazy. We're about to get in the track. Oh, okay. Gunna featuring 21 Savage. Thought I was playing. Oh, shout out to Krishna. Yeah, he's a part of the production on this, yo. Shout out to that nigga Krishna, man. Oh my god, this shit's crazy already. I thought I was playing? Oh my god. It's like some Memphis shit. Some 3 6 I Mafia know. shit. I like this. Damn, beat. Know the funny I love this beat. <laughs> Damn. Woo! Then you hear this shit? <laughs> I'm oh. black on this shit, bro. I'm yeah. sorry to let y'all niggas know. Yo, 21 about to go stupid right now. This song's already the craziest song to me. The product, yo. God damn, nigga, that shit. The way the beat's dropping at certain times, nigga, the flow right now. And I like this beat, too. Honestly, it's a Metro beat, but it kind of gave me, like, Pierre Bourne vibes a little bit. And it's that sound in that yeah, background. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what, that's what got me. Hey! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga is nasty. That nigga nasty. What? Uh. Fuck these niggas. Thought that I was playing? Uh. Hey, what yo, song yo. is crazy? That I was wow. Playing? 21. You said I'll dump this Glock like Kim did Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said like Ye did Kim. Nah, he's another way around. Wow. It was another way see, around. Gypsies in forever, nigga. Damn. Wow. Damn, nigga. This, um, how many songs we in right now? I already feel like this is a I classic. Like we're only like six, five or six songs? Not Starting five, six now. This song, yeah, this album's already a classic. Gunner, you did it again, my nigga. Did it again. These are really good, too. Wow. Man. 21. Production A1. You went crazy. Man. Nigga, I thought Wanda was crazy, nigga. I thought Nah, Wanda. this to me already is better than Wanda. Yeah. yeah. It's better than Wanda. That's why I'm like, nigga. How Yo, like, 21 Savage. way more confident in his flow. Yeah. yeah. 21 Savage. He fucking blocked. He <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. I thought like he snapped on it like you niggas thought I was playing. I had 21 and still people. <laughs> yeah, facts. But we're about to get into track number six. How you did that featuring Kodak Black. Kodak Black's on a super gun and Evan did. Ooh, Kodak my spaz on this. He's going some truthful shit right yeah. now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I like the back and forth. How you did that? Damn. 
Yeah. How you did that? That's very album of the year. How you did that? Album of the year. How you did that? How you did that? Damn, that's my money of the year. How you did that? Wow, that's collab Roger collab on this are really good. Yeah, bro. Kodak Black going back to back with Gunna. It's fucking Gunna. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I've been believing in you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How you did that? How you did that? How you did that? Go back to back with Gunna. How you did that? And that production, every song, bro, like how it goes. Yeah. that? Every song is like, wow, I could play this car. And like, we know when niggas pull up to your car when you drive in the street, you pull up to the red light. Yeah. And they look at you like, damn, that song is good. Yeah. Every song from this song, I could pull up to the red light and niggas be like, damn, that Pro- song is yo proudly, what? nigga. <laughs> Yo, what song that? is that? How yeah, you did yeah. that? Oh, why you trying to play playing? that nigga though? He trying to make that nigga look broke. Why he did the? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> it was it was more for him to understand because if I did this, they won't get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got a 1992 I Corolla. I fucking hit one of these in a grip, nigga. <laughs> 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 about to get a track number seven, a lot of cake. Yo, pulling up to a shorty and hitting him with this is wild, nigga. Oh, this that gonna sound right? Yeah. Yeah, this could've been on one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was on one of them. Yeah. yeah. I like this because this is like the classic Gunner that I love mm-hmm. Gunner for. Like, this is Gunner for... Sound, yeah, yeah, feel me? So, yeah, this is what it right It's here. cliche to the sound, but it, it doesn't fit the album. You said it doesn't fit the it album. It doesn't fit the yeah. album, yeah. So far from so what we far. Yeah, from what we yeah, listened, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause it like we said, it's it seemed like it was different from everything else. So it looked like it was a throwaway. Or maybe something he kept for a while for a while. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like the beat too. I like it. I like it. I feel like I felt like Gunna. Like like Rob said, uh, you said like you said you feel like um the singer just like the beat and then like I feel like that too because I like the beat too. So I feel like it just gave him like a reminder of him his old self like on, on a beat like that. It's just mm-hmm. uh, that's all I'm like you know I gotta rock with that. About to get in track number eight, living wild. This beat fire. This is fire. <laughs> I'm trying to have a sample. I got a lot of time with little babies. I can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that for Jones. Nah, he sound like little baby. Old. Yeah, yeah, right there he does. does. He's spilling his heart out right there. That beat is fire. Bro. Yeah, that's I think Evan would have bought this beat. I would kill that beat. I'm not going to lie. I felt like you did on the Weekend album with that one, though. You, you want to tell me what he just said right there? What? Oh. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> nah, nah, I, I really can't understand. I can't, bro, I, I can't even lie to you niggas. I'm like, I fuck with this shit, and I hear like four words and be like, I got the four words, bro. <laughs> I mean, from what I call it, it was like it seems like right, like he was going through a lot of things in his life, and he was, he was like he was smoking to like balance out like the like the trauma that he's going through and stuff. So that like, I feel like a beat like this, you're forced to like spill out some pain and good. shit. Good. You feel me? Like, yeah. Them with them English major ears, man. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, damn. damn. Yeah. Yo, I felt the pain on that, that shit from like, Atlanta, bro. Low key. <laughs> yo, this thing goes high, yo. Low key. Nah, I'm about to be <laughs> <laughs> Fire, nigga. Tell nigga to slow it down a little bit. Nice. I should have put Drake on this shit. Yeah, no, bro. Wow. I feel like crying a little bit. I like the beat more than I like Gunna on it. You could tell that it was a heartfelt song just because of the beat. Automatically. Even if you didn't, even if you didn't understand what he was saying, you knew it came from here. Like, there's no way you could turn that to a stripper joke. Nah, absolutely not. Say that beat back right now. I'll show you. That's that's how that, that's how that beat sound like oh, that juvenile song, Road. Yo. <laughs> 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 no, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> well, we about to get into track number nine, You and Me featuring Chloe. Bailey? Yeah, that was Nah, Mona. they go out. That's a bad joint right there. Woo. What people say. Oh, shit. Hey. hey. Jealousy. Is that Gunna hey, singing that? Nah. That's Gunna. Let me find out, Gunna. Let me find out. Yo, Gunner's that nigga. No. Oh 
Oh, wow. Nigga hit the yeah, Johnson he's sample and then came with the Usher fucking flow, nigga. <laughs> I'll hook you right on you. Did yeah, he just say that pussy hit like a five star meal? Is that what he said? <laughs> I think he said something like that. Uh, Sing out to a five star meal. Yo, Bro, wow. Got it is. R and B bag. He's hitting notes on this. Nigga, I, I give it to with Chloe. It. Chloe got this nigga getting high notes. Nigga, he met her. He said, "Yo, I gotta try to like sing my ass off of this motherfucker." Right? Yeah, Beyonce. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey. Ooh. They don't. I really don't though. That nigga was in the studio looking at her like. Yeah, how about you, man? I didn't get a It's crazy because it's like, I feel like that song was dedicated to everybody and shit. Like, don't worry about what people saying about us and shit like that. They don't, like, know, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. I feel like that's really how they feel. It's like, yo, they can make whatever assumptions and accusations that we got, but we know what's going on. Exactly. Between, so exactly. I respect y'all. That's you feel me? Yeah. It's almost like a innuendo, like a... Even almost double entendre between maybe what they could have together. Exactly. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, shit. You really don't know. They could be going out. They can't. They probably are best friends. They probably need each other stylists for all we know. Yeah, even there. if they're friends right now, this is gonna plant in the seeds. Like, yeah. I fuck you right, I will. Yep. I fuck you right. I'm sorry, I looked at you by <laughs> the way. I'm funny to say, I yo, I fuck you right, I will. <laughs> this, this, this song probably set the tone. Nigga, yo, we about to get a track number you know 10 songs to what? Nigga said I had to apologize. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gotta do the push. Woo! How? Nah, that's just that's just. Man. Damn, nigga. He just, he just does it, bro. It's it's gonna, bro. Damn, it's gonna. nigga. He makes Water. like he's a, he makes us a proud fan. You feel me? Like I love artists that can make you feel proud to be like I fuck with this artist, right? You feel me? Like I'm proud to be a gunner fan. Wanna? Wanna? I even wanna. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. That song, I think that might be my favorite song. I'm not gonna lie. I, I felt the energy coming from you. Yeah, you really fuck with that one right there. That's some like if you don't understand why we like this shit, you have to go listen to it with your niggas. Mm. Like I really feel like it's one of those kind of songs, yeah. albums. You, you know want to turn up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like I'm with your niggas. Like yeah, yeah. It's almost you know when in the in um. What's the new Power Series? BMF. You know when they're bumping LL Cool J all together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt like that moment when my nigga's playing Gunner. Wow. That was yeah. deep right there. Yeah, I'm never going to forget this moment. Music 2022 RTTV. We back. Facts. You know this shit got some vibes because, yo, after a bunch of these songs, you just see me in the back. Like, the song ain't even on no more. I'm just still here. Yeah, yeah. I'm still in that motherfucker. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? Like, I hear it in my head. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. shit. Imagine what? being in the studio when he's making these songs, yo. Everybody just chilling, just vibing. Let's get into track number 11. 25K Jacket featuring Lil Baby. They wow. back. Ooh. Hey. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yo, that's like this number six. Well, hit that shit, my nigga. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Like, wow. Yes. Damn. Lil Baby, nigga. Lil Black. Yo. Sheesh. That like as soon as the beat started, yeah. wasted no time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they bring the best out of each other, bro. I like that. Watch him on the down. Watch him on the down. Watch. That's why it just made me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, nah. Yeah. He was. You can tell the boop. That nigga was feeling every word though. No bullshit. Nah, if these niggas see this reaction, they about to hit your line for the video. I know they about to bro. play, yo. That's the new dance. That shit P right there. <laughs> that shit P that's right like that. there. That's like that. Yes, that's like, that's like when you're really excited and you just accomplish a goal. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nigga. That's when you got a $25,000 jack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude. Yes. And you can still pay your bills. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry said, shit, I grabbed a jacket, but God damn, damn. I poured them off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dog. Yo, I fuck with that dog shit they had yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, man, why, why they baby like, going back to but, back. But, but why they? Oh, but why are they like that? Why is the shit? Why they classic? like that? 
Nah, that's the that's the one right there. That's, that's I feel like when they hop on a track, when they hop on tracks together, they just go in the booth and they just spit. They're like, let's hear the beat. I right, bet. It's like five minutes, and they just get in the booth. That's the just hero, off, bro. Track number um twelve came out too easy featuring Gun and Future. That's my That's the banger right there. That's just too easy. And track number thirteen, I don't know that bitch featuring Pat Davis and Shy Rag G Herbal. Yes, sir. That's true. <laughs> how can you not like this? I don't know. It's kind of hard for me. Like, like it seems like he's going in with G Herbo, with G Herbo's flow. Kind of like how he be spinning, you know what I'm saying? Shush and shush. I'll make sure of it. I'll make sure of it. It's like a gunner. Gonna on a on a, a G Herbal mix, gonna be. He's a fucking chameleon, bro. Yeah, yeah he can do it all. He's a fucking chameleon, <laughs> bro. Fucking gunner. That's what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're saying. I'm running out. How am I making so much money? What? You should have put J Flock on this. I could have heard K Flock on this too. K Flock could be on any song according to Rob, nigga. <laughs> How the fuck you cuff that bitch? You don't know that bitch. You know, that's actually one of the biggest questions in, in the Why world. You hit one time and then start cuffing it. Mm. Sheesh. She just started taking the risk, so I had to cut her in. Yep. Wow. Oh, wow. The bars. Nah, real shit. And I like how they like they stood on like the the pay- these are niggas that watch paying for at least eight times. Shit. Yeah, this, yeah. This nigga G Herbal shit like that. I can't go out. Like, killer can. Yeah, nah, I can't. Nah. <laughs> they call they they reference money, Mitch. Too. Money, Mitch. Yeah, yeah. Gunner did it. Shit like that. I was like, alright. Yeah. Um. Thank God. Alpo. Who? Mm-hmm. Alpo the whole dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Died last year. He went back to Harlem. I guess he didn't finish last season. Mm. Yep. Another season. Mm-hmm. We're about to get into track number 13, I mean 14, Flooded. <laughs> yeah, like with a body. Yo, Robbie listen to Whitney Houston right now and be like, damn, my nigga K-Flock would've killed this shit right here. Ooh. Flooded? Flooded. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Flooded. Flooded. Yeah. Flooded. Uh. I was in unison. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this is happen. classic <laughs> signature gunner. Yeah. Easily. Flood it. Flood it. Flood it. I can't lie. I ain't got no flood it. No, you don't. I can leave that song alone, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can't relate. Fuck that song, nigga. Nah, I just, you know, I, I don't know. I just ain't fuck with that Once one. Once you get the flooded, it's like, yes, Once I got the flooded and I can pick up those. 15, life Plain Jane. of sin featuring Nietzsche because Joel's like, he really wants to hear it. Who the hell is that? I don't know. Nietzsche. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was... This is like the pitfall of like when her niggas talk about hope. <laughs> <laughs> Why you saying like what? that? Uh, Wait, what do you mean? Why is it the pitfall? Nigga, I don't know what. Wait, what? Huh? What? Why you saying like that? That's like that's a different type of philosophy. Yeah, this nigga about to be deep right there. Yeah. Del I'm telling you. Yeah. Yo, I don't know. That should make me die laughing all the time. This nigga is like, wild. Nah, like with little Dirk. <laughs> 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 the pitfall yeah, right there. That That's the pitfall right there. I've seen. I've seen. That nigga was definitely falling from somewhere. Oh. That's like the pitfall. <laughs> <of> what <laughs> her niggas is fighting? This nigga passing you the downfall. What? The pitfall is when the hood niggas start talking about <laughs> the, <laughs> the pitfall. <laughs> Why is that a pitfall? Why, Why can't my niggas have hope? They nigga? can't talk about hope. Yeah, my nigga. <laughs> what? My nigga passing. Now I want to hear that hopeless shit, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, wow. We just wanna win. We want like to get to track number sixteen, dialogue featuring Blue and Chris Brown. Oh, this gonna be a smacker. Yeah, Evan loves it's gonna be a Blue. smacker. You love that dude. Young he's, he's up nice, there nigga. Street, um, me, wedding. Ball, ball. <laughs> 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 I like this. I don't wanna die alone. Now, 
young cool Chris Brown's about to snap because Gunna yeah. set it up perfectly right here. This nigga just say pitfall. <laughs> right, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he said pitfall. <laughs> I think he said just the same pitfall. <laughs> what? Nah, he's prizing. Mm, come on, man, young boy. Stop playing. Mm. Nah, Young Blue's better than um Baby King. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Robbie just be trying to pick wow. my niggas against each other. I ain't even <laughs> listening to this nigga no more. Hey. Come on. Breezy. That nigga Woo. loves saying tsunami. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yo. <laughs> I don't wanna be alone. Oh shit! <laughs> I gotta <laughs> stay on my pivot. I gotta be realistic, cause yeah, if he yeah, don't yeah. stay on the pivot, he gonna travel, and that's a violation. Okay, oh that's a God. bar. God. This oh, nigga be sitting Yo, the way you broke that down, bro. The way you broke that down, kid. Wow. Wow. That was over my head, and I didn't duck. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, nigga. Now, nah, Pat, Pat trying to cool down from his last take. <laughs> Pat trying to let the engines cool down after that one. <laughs> I, I, try, I try to overthink that one. <laughs> let me sit nah, back. I still feel the same way. <laughs> nah, don't get me wrong. Uh, that could be an yeah. NFT, yo. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga just trying to explain that so <laughs> This is a pitfall. Yeah, bro. Bro. What hood niggas have? Laughing and shit. Like, that's oh, NFT yeah. material right there. Nah, <laughs> nah side mm. note, though. Ever since that Young Blue and Chris Brown made that Baddest Bitch song, yeah, I feel like they could do anything together. Yeah, nah, like, I could take a whole album together. together with Young Blue and Chris Brown. It's yeah. coming soon. You're right. Facts. Facts. Well, we're going to get into track number 17, Missing Me. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. <Yo, yo. laughs> Yo. That's that gangster pain, Stop nigga. Right, yeah. Don't yeah. fucking laugh, all right? That's gangster pain right there. There's a lot of good hood nigga songs that niggas love and shit like that. I'll never say that. But. So there's no good hood nigga songs that have hope? <laughs> I'm confused. Wow. I'm, no, no, I'm no, fucked no, up. Wow. I'm but fucked saying, up over no, no, this no, no, right no, no, now. Because when I say, if you want me to actually explain that statement, it's like, there's this generation, not even just this generation and shit like that. There's a certain artist that can't be her niggas. Oh, fuck <laughs> <laughs> right. This is the Grammy speech with the music on. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga Patch had a rap genius that shit with the lyrics real quick. <laughs> what he was trying to say in the fucking shit was. <laughs> Alright, so how you feel? Is that oh, that was it. I like that shit, yo. I like oh. that shit. Wow. It down, nigga. Yo, <laughs> it's cool. Honestly, yo, I, like yo. Yeah. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Alright, so you wanna know what it is? Alright, I'm gonna break the. Let me put, put, let me put my hat, my pack cap on real quick. Yo. Your pack. So what I'm thinking my about pack cap. is like when hood niggas miss somebody, there's many reasons they could miss them. But honestly, when they miss them, they gonna sing songs for them anyway. What the Yo. fuck? He try to give you like one of his bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me? What? My nigga, my what? nigga Joel sang uh, sang his song to Pat today. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's not recap that moment. I'm trying to forget that. <laughs> it's not my highlights. Um, <laughs> Anything else you want to know that song? Honestly, man, missing me, man. Miss me with that bullshit, all right? All right, we're about yeah, to get into track number 18, <laughs> So Far Ahead, over Empire. It's not like a futuristic Kanye beat. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> this is all the futuristic to you, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's not like future, nigga. <laughs> I don't think I feel or sense any bit of Kanye on that song right there. I'm not going to hold you. No, this is called 4-5. 3-4-5 with Rihanna and Drums. Paul McCartney. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
You know, it's not it's not his strongest suit. He could have moments where he has like a good good moments and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like just all with Chloe. Yeah, exactly. It's not like fair. That's all. really like. It's like normally when your voice crack, you're not supposed to. That's considered not singing good. Yo, Joel, that's the truth. That's what's going on. I heard his voice crack. Yeah, that's what the auto tune was. Yeah, for. I better say you bugging, yo. They got auto tune, my nigga. You'll never look like Simon Cowell. <laughs> yeah, right. That was your Simon Cowell moment right there, yo. Well, the last song is um the remix to Too Easy. Make sure you check that out. Why you gotta sound like that far? Uh. And guys, that was the journey through DS forever. DS Shout forever. Out to DS, DS forever. DS, DS forever. Fourth DS. installment of Gunner's legendary series production A one collaborations A one. Gunner elevated. I feel like Gunner has just been getting better and better. He's gonna be. He's been for five years already. He's killing the game. I think he's gonna be here for another fifteen more plus more years. And him and Young Thug, they just, their song is not redundant. It's not getting repetitive. It's like they're enhancing it and taking it to newer levels. And I like that Gunner held his own on all the features. Every feature, I don't think anyone really outshined Gunner, and I'm shocked because those are a lot of heavyweights. But Shucks. he still held his own with Kodak, held his own with 21 Savage, held his own with Future, Young Thug. And I I'm, I guess Drake is just not in the mood of dropping new music because he didn't get the Drake record, but it is what it is. I feel like um, in terms of collaborations, we got like a fire ass little baby verse. I feel like little baby verse has been on like a lot of girl songs. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. it's good to kind of hear him back on this swag, um, you know, shit that we normally l- used to listen to him, uh, especially with Gunna. Uh, I love the Twenty One Savage collaboration. I love the Chloe collaboration. I, even songs that he has by himself. But I feel like um. The first two thirds of the album, yeah. it was like some shit that I could bang to the car from beginning to about two thirds of the album. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the end, he sang a little on it, and I'm not saying I, I hate it. I'm just it maybe take a few more listens for me to like understand what he was trying to do. But as of, <laughs> I'm not even trying to roll. I'm just uh, like as of right now, I don't like those songs. Yo, but I'm coming to so coming to spot tomorrow, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, you niggas don't like how he sing on that last shit, yo? It is possible, too. Yeah, I can yeah. see Joel really saying that yeah, shit, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, talk. yeah, I, I agree with Wells. Like, I like the beginning of the album. I think that it flowed cohesively in the beginning. And I like all the features, the track with Kodak Black, how you how you did that. That's one of my favorite tracks. 21 Savage, he snapped it. He went bar, bar, he went bar for bar with 21 Savage on that track. So I really mm-hmm. rock with it. The end of the album kind of threw me off a little bit. I was, it didn't end well very, it didn't end very well for me. It was like very good opening not a very good closing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, I feel like uh, the album's really dope. It got a lot of good production on it. Like, from the beginning, I actually liked the, the first six joints. Like, from Private Island to How You Did how you did That, yeah. I really fucked with. And then, like, from Nine, like, where he got on in his Chloe bag, crazy sample. That shit was fire, bro. Honestly, if it's not your shorty, man, probably holla at her. She a good one, man. And then um, South <laughs> 2 West, and then 25K Jacket, like Lil Baby snapped on that shit. And my favorite one that he's by himself is South to West. Though. Yeah. That's, South to West, he snapped on that shit. Yeah. Poochie uh, Gown. Come on, bro. <laughs> huh? Poochie Gown. Poochie Gown, That's bro. not my favorite one, though. That like shit go though. crazy. That was part of the top, the first thing, you know? Yeah, that's actually yeah, using it. Like, I feel like with Gunna, I feel like with this project alone and stuff, like the fact that there's like eight songs that I really have, like, I feel like has strong replay value. It's a successful project for me. Yeah, like, hell yeah. Having that many songs that I really smack and I think that sound different, production I think elevated, and it feel like with a person that drops as much as Gunna, it's like I, it was more impressive when he's able to like give different sounds and still be true to himself at the same time. So, yo, Gunna, good looks, bro. Follow, follow up to Wanna, crazy. Yeah, way better than Wanna. Now nah, way better. Way better, yeah. Met Gala. I say that, yeah, yeah. Gun, one of was actually great. Nasty I really, girl. I just think this was really good. That's how good I think this album was. And you rocked with one of. I say it a lot, my nigga. I really like this album. The features. The but, features on this were way better than me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, like, I can say that. Can how say you that, did yeah. that? South to West. Uh, I even fuck with uh, Die Alone. Like I feel like those tracks. That's just a smacker. Those this those songs yeah. are better than I feel like everything on one of. Features, I can see what you're saying. Yeah, I can yeah, see what like, you're saying. I, 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 with Future pushing P. Yeah, yeah pushing P. I feel you. I'm pushing P. 
Although so one is amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. What? Rockstar like bikers and chains? Yeah. Dollars on my head, skybox. Dollars like, on my head. Nigga, what? Rockstar bikers and chains, like, yeah. Gala, nasty girl on camera, cool than a bitch. Like, and I think that's the crazy thing about this album that's lit to me, because I feel like Wanda, he had a lot of songs that was by himself that was crazy as fuck. And I, feel, I think he already established the fact I don't need features. And then this album. No, I think he just killed this shit. Like the features, I feel like he was like, I could help my own with these niggas. Yeah, that's, that's I get you I on that. Like, it was like they didn't know, like Twenty One Savage to me. Usually, I was trying to everybody. He didn't. I was trying gun on that song. Yeah, Kodak Black. Usually, I was trying to, but he didn't. Right. I was so it's like, and it's, those are two people that are in the new generation are heavyweights. So yeah, Angie Herbo too did a good good on that song too. So yeah. But major salute to Gunna. Let us know what you think is better, Wanna or this album, in the comments below. Yeah. Hey, yo, man, if it's your first time here, I promise you definitely won't be your last. So make sure you kill, murder, and smash, smash that subscribe button. I go by the name Rob City RT, and you can check out our Gunna playlist, our hip hop playlist, link in the description below. We also have K-pop, rock, and Bollywood, and a lot of international music. And if there's a genre we haven't covered, make sure you follow and DM us so we can get into that for you. Again, I am the Haitian Prince, that hip hop guy, that K pop guy, that pop guy. Yo, that's the music guy. Yo. Check out all our musical reactions. Shout out to all my Haitian. Sak passe, na boule, prêt. I say, compé. Yo, it's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. It was an amazing day of music. We got the nice. weekend and we got Gunna. Two different rounds of music, two amazing albums. Yo, if you, uh, if you listen to this album by yourself, grab your boys, grab some friends, go yeah. in the car. Yeah. Listen to this shit. I felt I really felt like, and I don't want to compare because it's early, but I did enjoy listening to this album more than I did the weekends. But I think it's really because I was listening with you guys. Mm. Yo, it's a man, the myth, maniac, Wilkins underscore RT. Yo, it's this is a good start for music to start off the year. Yeah, and it's definitely made me excited to see who else is dropping because both these albums, gonna weekend both fire ass albums. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DC, man. Shout out to Gunner, man. I can't wait to go back and listen to it. I definitely got a lot off it already, but I'm interested to see if there's things that I didn't like on first listen that I like later. Mm-hmm. And I'm honestly intrigued on who got who lost in Dragon Ball Z and broke the shit, bro. Oh, that was a skit. Oh, that was a skit. Yeah. That was a skit we did. I was like, damn, you lost like that, my nigga? Yo. <laughs> yeah, no bullshit. <laughs> yo, Patrick RT, man, yo. This album, Gunner. Damn, bro. Appreciate you, man. I'm a proud fan right now, bro. And that settles it at the round table. table.